And we're here down here again at the uh, Table Rock Dam, which the floodgates have been reopened again. Uh, Brad's uh, one of the local engineers, runs our office here. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, what's happening and why this uh, floodgate has been reopened? Yeah, uh, like Rod said, uh, back in April, uh, we had a, uh, some uh, extreme uh, rain events that required the uh, dam to be open. Um, that caused subsequent flooding down to, uh, in the landing area, Branson Landing and the Hollister area. Um, so uh, the lake was actually drained down to a normal operating level. And uh, here about a week ago, uh, the significant rains uh, they hit the Joplin area in southwestern Missouri. Uh, they've had to open the gates again. And uh, currently they're letting out 50 to 60,000 cubic feet per second of water. Um, the the uh, local area has been flooded again down in, at the landing in the Hollister area. Uh, the water's rising back up. Um, so uh, a lot of those folks that were uh, flooded during the April uh, rain events are, are now getting it again, unfortunately. Uh, so uh, now, now we're not looking at the emergency spillway. I guess that's up this direction. Uh, our company helped. What is the purpose of that? Why have they not used the emergency spillway? Well, the emergency spillway is over that direction, and it's uh, to be used in an event that the uh, the dam would possibly fail, or if the, the dam is only capable of uh, allowing about 500,000 cubic feet per second. If there was a need that, to let more water out than that, then that's when the emergency spillway would be be used. Uh, Schultz and Summers Engineering worked on the uh, construction of that dam, I believe, back in uh, 2002, I believe. But they've never used it? Uh, as far as I know, we've never used it. No, it would, um, if, if the emergency spillway was open, this whole area you see here with the, uh, the, uh, the power station, we're right here by the fish hatchery as well, the trout uh, hatchery, and uh, this would all be wiped out. And what kind of consequences would that have downstream, do you think? Uh, significant consequences. Uh, you'd see uh, just mass devastation in the Branson and Hollister areas, um, you know, around the table, or uh, excuse me, Taney, Lake Taney Cove. But I guess that'd be better than the whole uh, dam breaking and going down. Yeah.